Hello and welcome to Minecraft and the modded Minecraft series and today we will be beginning with bees. Now bees are often not particularly liked uh, especially for video formats because of they are slow to do all the breeding however there are a couple of sort of expansion mods um, like bees is obviously an expansion mod to forestry um, and then there's this gender stream mod which is an expansion to the bees so we have these things we have a mutagen mutatron thingy um, and we have industrial apiaries and yeah advanced mutatron so it turns it all sort of into an automated sort of way so we're going to get onto that as you can see I've got a sturdy casing um, and down here I've set up a big wall of lasers um, so I'm not quite sure how long this will take um, we need a couple of these so all the lasers going on that and it's, I think they need to warm up a bit first blue is maybe warmed up yeah now it's heading at a decent speed so this probably is draining quite a lot of power but that's fine um, so now we have two of these we stick that in there that should allow us to make what the next thing of what we're wanting which is that um, no not this thing this thing a genetics processor oh we need quartz okay I'm gonna keep make I'm gonna grab some quartz while those are getting made quartz don't actually have that much of it it's a bit it's annoying to get it's expensive in general but yeah if we stick that in there now we have this genetics processor So let's turn it to that instead. Turn that off. Oh, and that actually makes really quickly. So I'm sure we need at least three of these. Boop. And that will do for now. So it is our three. Um, we also need lots of bronze. So I've set up the auto crafting so we can get Tinker's alloy um, nice and easily. And I've stocked up with copper and tin. So let us have a look at Mutatron. Advanced Mutatron, Mutagen. No, I didn't mean to actually click that. Mutatron. Here's thing. So we need these. Uh, I clicked the wrong thing again. B receptacles. We need three of these. So I made some pressure plates. There we go. Uh, tinkers, alloy, I made a bunch of this. Uh, we should have plenty of redstone. And we should have plenty of glass. Now, pretty much everything within this needs bronze, tin, or copper. So basically bronze. Um, so we just need tons of that. And that should be assorted. So one, two. Oh. Ah. Three, there we have our three. Uh, you, uh, if anyone knows how to get this thing to automatically mean I can then craft it, uh, let me know because I'd like to be able to do that where I could just press the question mark and then I can make it if I've got the resources in here. So now a lot of the time I do have the resources in there. Um, so we've got, so all we need is this power module and a mutagen tank. I just need some gears. Make that. Add three stone gear. Looks like it. Okay. Stone gear. Hmm. That doesn't seem quite right. So let's go for. We stick iron in the middle because that's how we make a lot of gears. Oh yeah, that does work. Fine. We have two of those. Um, I keep 
keep forgetting what this thing is called. Power module, we need pistons. Okay. We can craft those. And we need gold. I got a redstone. Okay, so can I remember how all this goes together? No. You Power module. Oh, we need four of these. Okay, dokie. Right. That is why I cannot remember how it goes together. There. Now it's easy enough. That, that, that. Pistons either side, gold and redstone. We have a power module. Cool. And then the last thing to make this is we need this mutagen tank, which is tin and glass panes. So tin. And we've got glass panes here. Muter tron. Casing that, those three, this thing, and two of these. Mutatron. Now we're going to go and use, it will need power I imagine, we're going to use this bit over here for this mod I think. And it looks complicated. Um, so I imagine we stick, um, some polony stuff in here, some tree stuff will be no, um oh it's got a slash, so we put a queen in here, or a princess in here, and a drone in here. We put something up here and it will turn into something else. Cool. Um and but we're gonna go straight for the advanced one. So that's not too difficult to make. We need another power module and some nether quartz. I'm going to pick this straight back up. So we need more uh, Dinker's Alloy. Let's get that crafting while we make these gears. Um, that one. Go down there. Two, three, and four. Great. Uh, then we need this power. There's too many things to begin with power. Was it module? Yes, power module. Okay, we need some more pistons. Piston. This is so much easier with the enemy crafting system. It's ridiculous. Right, there we go. Have all the things we need. Um, and the gears. There. So that goes in the middle. Um, am I missing something? No, this. We have these two. We have. Oh, we need more gears. Okay. Oh, I just stick all in there. Great. Um. Iron. Tink. One, two, three, four. Now we can do it. This in here. This processor. This and quartz. Done. We have our advanced musician. So that didn't take too long, really. Um, 
sure it's quite a bit of crafting, but let's place this down. See what it needs. I imagine one of these is yep, that's power. And uh, that's something rather. Then we've got an option. So this gives us some options and it also connects up to our inventory. Interesting. So let's have a look at um the next lot of stuff. So we will be wanting to make probably most of these machines I imagine. So we want an industrial apiary, definitely. Um, we want an imprinter, a sampler, liquefier, extractor, transposer and a replicator. And some genetics labware. Interesting. Well, I'll go get on making that and then once I've got all the machines uh, we'll try and see if we can hook them all together. Okay, and I'm back with a load of machines. Now this is really expensive. Um, it's a lot of Tinkerer's alloy. Each one of these needs four gears, which is four Tinkerer's alloy each, um, plus a casing, which is eight Tinkerer's alloy, plus they all need power modules. Some need more than one, but you also need four gears each for one of those. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. Now, probably the biggest thing, we may need to make more of these, is the industrial apiary. So let's just go plonking down all these machines. Um, and then we'll sort of... I imagine they need power, so I've grabbed some power. Oh. A huge compute, a lag spike. Hmm, not the greatest thing. And final thing. Oh, I dropped it. Lots of machines. Okay, so this is pretty much all of Gentistry. In here we have, this is where filters go. We have not made any filters. Um, and yeah, it doesn't require much power. None of these things require too much power, so I've got some basic cables to do all that. So we can stick them in, and that's like a normal apiary, I imagine. But you can customise it with those, so it's in the right sort of environment. Even though it's indoors in this cave, we will make them think it's outside, and they've got plenty of flowers when they don't. Mission producer. I imagine we stick a bee in here. Uh, genetic replicator. Also probably stick a bee in here. Um, DNA extractor, this seems kind of similar to this advanced mutatron because uh, it's got that thing I also made 64 of those genetic transposer um, I'm guessing to stick one B into another but I'm not too sure genetic imprinter that sounds very similar to a transposer but eh. Oh, so we make these things in here, I guess, and then the B goes in here with the genetic thing. Protein liquefier, I don't know what that does, it looks like a piece of meat. So maybe we stick a piece of meat in there and it gives us some protein for using, for manipulating bees. Genetic sampler, this lets us see what is in a bee. I assume we get the bee back when we stick a bee in there. So, yeah, let us hook this up and we'll stick some, uh, like, maybe some bees in uh, to see if it will do anything. And my stomach is rumbling. Oh, I don't. Oh, I didn't. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's all powered up. It's surrounded by cables. Um, I'm going to quickly check the ME system to see if there's any bees. B. No bees in there. Any bees in these chests? No bees in there. There is poop, which is good for fertile soil. There's some rocky drones, so we'll try those if nothing else. Okay, let's go try this one. Rocky Princess, pristine stock, cool, and a rocky drone. So they're basically identical. 
Um, I could go looking at villages for bees, or I could just explore. I may go to the end, because the end has fancy bees, and I could probably manipulate things so that they work. So if I put in that, and that, here's our big power bar. So all those big bars are power bars, so there's nothing else needs to go in there. Great. And we have our queen. So, um, no error. Cool, so apparently a rocky queen can work indoors. Now I think part of the point of this is you're meant to go and breed stuff. So, well, you're meant to have different bees, so maybe not a rocky and a rocky. You want something else. But if I go, you should be able to maybe see oh, we can get a bound bee, a bound queen. I don't know. And here's all the recipes. Okay, we have our Mutatron. And it says genetics labware stuff. Cool. So this will automatically, if we have Mutagen, um, then we can choose basically what um, bee we want. So this is, this is just with Rocky Bees. We can make unstable, tolerant, common, more commons, more commons, more commons, more commons, okay, and a load of commons, and a cultivated, if we stay with common, but we can easily do that, so, needs power, which is fine, and mutagen, so how do we get mutagen, uh, that's not right, mutagen producer, if we stick uranium in here, we get mutagen. Interesting. Or glowstone for some reason. Or redstone. We've got plenty of eulorium, so probably using eulorium. For some reason, that particular uranium gives a ton of it. And redstone gives like hardly anything as itself. So I think we will be using this stuff to make mutagen, which we will stick into our advanced mutatron. Yep. Cool. I'm not really sure why it's advanced. Maybe it's because you get multiple bees you can choose from, or you can choose which bee it makes when there's multiple options. You don't know. So, make mutagen, we need this Mutagen producer. So we stick some things in there. That gives us mutagen. So I'm going to go and get some tanks. I'm going to find some more bees. And we will try to... Okay, so I'm back and I've been raiding some villages. So I went to some villages and these are the bees that I found in their places. So I've not been to the nether to go and get those bees. And I've not been to the end to go and get the end bees. But... This should be alright just for testing. I've got some Eulorium ingots. Uh, I piped up underneath so that it should just go straight into it. Takes a little while by the looks of things. Quite a slow loading bar and hopefully that will get filled up. So one of the bees I am going to go for is to continue producing radioactive stuff I guess. Um, let's try going for radioactive combs, which you need radioactive bees for. And this starts down at the Rocky Princess, so we'll need our Rocky drone plus a common one uh, to hopefully get some upgrades there. It will take me quite a while, there's a lot of steps to go through it, but hopefully it should be quite quick. Uh, that already finished, and we can go and see what filters we need. So I will take up this, I take up these, um, and we will get a common drone, and plonk those two in, seems fine apparently, and industrial apiary, oh no, I guess that's just it made a queen, so we'll come back to that and see how that goes. Um, the other sort of bee that I could probably want to do is something that's 
expensive. I want to go for expensive stuff because. Uh, and. And durium. Do we have any sort of B for this? That's what I want to know. Uh, not by the looks of that. Durium blend. Can this be made any other way? No. Because we've got our seeds. And I've got them, but that's still going fairly slowly for just now. Um, we don't want shards. Got, don't want the crop. There's no combs, is there? Let's have a look at comb. Uh, these are all the combs. Uh, it was quite a lot of them, and some of them have been added by Gender Street. A uh, bunch of coloured ones, which there already is coloured ones, so I don't really know what that's about. But these sort of give honey as well. So I'll need to go into forestry and get like a squeezer and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. Is there. Where is. Radioactive one is over here. So does that mean they're together? No. I'm not really sure how it's organised. Uh, but. Maybe we could go for venomous ones and poison Sander and Chris. That might be interesting. Anyway, um, I did that wrong, didn't I? Because I didn't want to do that. Do I have another rocky queen? Probably upstairs. Ah. Yes, I do have another Rocky Princess. Does this have estrogen in it now? It does, it's got tons in it. Oh, it's maxed out. And that is empty, apparently. I guess it's just filling up the pipe just now then. So, we stick in that. Um, we also want these and our common drone. And then we can select what we want, and we can select Cultivated Queen. So, I should maybe take that out, but it's now got a working bar, a percentage bar. I, I, it doesn't look like I can speed it up, despite being in an industrial apiary. So I may go and make some more apiary so I can do this sort of quicker, um, and I can mass produce my bees and shove them in here to quickly upgrade them because I get to choose what I upgrade so there's no trial and error which is one of the biggest slowdowns uh, so yeah okay so some of the bees are breeded and well, that one's finished and I got some cultivated drones and then this one is finished which was the forest stuff and that's given me some co uh, common yeah I also made a bunch more of these uh, as you can see um, this one has a hostile environment, so I can't do it. It's modest. This is meant to be a desert, and it's meant to be wintry, so it's meant to be snow. So I've not made those two uh, work. Whereas this one does because it thinks it's in the open air, and it also thinks it's always uh, daytime. So as long as it doesn't need to be in the desert or snow or some other biome, I can do that just now. So if I go on to uses. Um, I can make um, a flowering one. Um, this is not necessary, really. Um, automation, maybe do that at some point. I don't know. There's the open sky one. Uh, Sip upgrade collects pollen. Um, we have the light upgrade that I did. Um, this one, imagine some bee wants rain. Maybe a swamp or something. Uh, Production. This is what I'd maybe use um, when we've got the right bee that we want and we want lots of the stuff. Lifespan upgrade, same again. Dryer, um, 
humidifier things, heater, cooler. I don't think they're actually that needed. Maybe they affect efficiency, but I don't think. But these ones are. So this one is the Nether, and you need blaze powder. And you need these climate control modules, and you also need these environmental processes. So for the environment ones, we need to go and make these things. And I'm sort of out of time to go and do that. So I'll maybe go and do these off camera to get um, the other two bees working. So you can see quite expensive. We need this golden chip set as well as two diamonds per one and then that needs redstone and gold so yeah. So um, we have our bee stuff set up. I will quickly go and get this. I think it's a I think it's a common and a cultivated princess. Um, so let's just use this again. I think I should just leave those in there. So this plus this we have the choice of a diligent queen and a noble queen um, cool um, so this is where it starts branching off and gets really complicated because common stuff is needed for a lot of things so let us go for uh, the diligent one I think. and we'll see what we can make with these two as well we now have a diligent queen, and so that is cold fit. We've already got cold fit. So common. So I guess let's go down the other route as well. Awesome. Let's plonk uh, in there. All fine. Uh, plonk this in here, and we can move on and see what we get next time we get two different drones so we we'll want to start getting um, oh use the f oh it wasn't a forest print I thought it was a forest print for some reason I don't know why anyway uh, I'll stick the rocky one back in oh I've got meadows as well and rocky so let's just stick all the things in the mutagen thingy and see what we can make. So we have a meadows. Oh, it's already a queen. Okay, never mind. Uh, that is a princess float. So we can. We can't add it to a cultivated. We can add a forest one to make it common because commons are important. We can also make a common through the modest thing. Cool. And if we add a rocket drone, you can't do that. Okay, so I guess we're making a, um, another common. And we'll stick. So we'll replace the modest queen with a common queen. Uh, we need to stick a daylight a light upgrade in there. Good, now that's working. And we'll take out the wintry queen and stick in the meadows queen. Now that's working as well. Cool. So I'm going to be heading off with B stuff, and next time I think we will head to the deep dark. Um, stupid person outside beeping the horn. Um, if we have a look at my cobble, I have a quintuple compressed cobblestone, which is 59,000 cobblestone. And we've got one quadruple, so we need one of these, four of these and some unstable ingots and that's as ready to go to the deep dark so that would be kinda cool uh, that can go into our portal area down there um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye